Okay, we're just checking in. We got a little bit lost on the way here, but it's so pretty. Look how gorgeous are the sunsets. My fiance picked this villa specifically because he loves the sunset and looking out to the water. And I think this master ensuite is like the best part. Oh my God, this is beautiful. Okay, this is gonna be the best month ever. We won't pay attention. I'm like barefaced today because it was a long flight and we had to be up at like six, but I thought we might want a little laugh. This is the amount of luggage that I bring with me. I took the wrong luggage, but I didn't realize we got to the rental car place. So then I had to return back to the airport and like this, this nice young lady was like waiting outside of the airport and somehow she knew while well, I was like talking to this guy about the luggage. So she's like, oh my God, is that my bag? And I'm like, are you Alexandria? Cause I already read her bag. And she's like, oh my God, the gas, she was really happy to get it. But then I did have to like talk to, I did like go and keep talking to security to like get back into the arrival part so then I could get my bag back, but it all worked out. <laughs> Okay, we're en route to the conch shack to grab an afternoon snack. And we just drove up like 30 seconds from our villa to look at this shipwreck. It's like a beautiful boat. How cool is this? I was recommended this rum punch. Oh yeah, thank you. Look, this is a conch graveyard from the restaurant. We bought this cute little show bursa from the stand over here. I feel so bad because all of these people who live on these islands who are like merchants at these little stands that sell tourist gifts, they're not making any money and working every day and we've like pretty much canceled tourism. So I bought this bracelet and I think it's a little bit of a festive. I'm just kind of feeling the island vibes. Watch out puppies. Good morning. It's another beautiful day in Turks and Caicos. I'm off for a morning jog. I tried jogging along the beach barefoot but I had to change into my sneakers and I think I'm gonna go along the road because I like the beach is so long so I just be jogging back and forth and I like to see different scenery and kind of get lost in my jogs. I swear I'm gonna lose like five pounds probably because I have my Starbucks drink every day that's like 250 calories with like whipped cream on top. And since there's no Starbucks on the island, I've had, I've just been doing black coffee and I think I'm gonna end up going home looking really good, especially between that and jogging and I'm still doing my personal training. Um, Monday, Wednesday, Friday. And anyway, I think at this trip, and time in Turks and Caicos is gonna be like life changing and bring me to that next level. So all under this dock, it was like filled with minnows earlier and some bigger fish. Oh yeah, there's like so many. Oh, we found the turtle. Yeah, he's so pretty. Oh my God, look, we found the turtle. finished grocery shopping at Graceway Groceries and we just ordered some takeout from the Coco Bistro and they have a really cute little 
Coco van, like a pickup place. Mm -hmm. dog visiting and I love seeing all of them but I don't like to feed them out of the villa because I don't really want them hanging around and I saw them go up to some people on the beach and lick them and yeah <laughs> okay we're going off to Grace Bay to check out some shops I really want to get like a big sun hat and this is my 90s supermodel look. I feel like it looks so good. I'm wearing my favorite Fendi cat eyes, but I'm wearing them in the black. If you've watched my videos, you'll, you'll know that I had bought the black ones and then I saw the Fendi print ones. So I bought those as well and they were actually my favorite. And now I don't wear any other sunglasses and I just think this shape looks really, see it looks so good opening up a Ritz Carlton and Turkey Caicos. I was so mortified in that bikini shop. I couldn't film anything because I, like normally I'm a small or like a 42 I think and I had to keep asking for bigger sizes and then I tried this bathing suit on in the medium and I I could not get it up my thighs and it, there was like no zipper. It was like a one piece. I couldn't get up my thighs and I had to just leave, I had to just get out of there. And then I was getting like deodorant, cake to my dress. We had to get out of there, but we're gonna go check out like Jay's jewelry and look at Rolexes and there's some more shops. So we just came down to the car so we could drive up there and check them out. I don't know if I'm gonna shop today. I'm not in the mood now. The shops have been a little bit light. There's not really like luxury shopping here. And I knew they didn't have much luxury shopping before I came to Turks, which is why I was trying to buy a lot of things from Essence. And I wanted to go to like the Chanel store, but even that was closed so you could try things on. But it's like a little bit light on the shops. Feeling invigorated today. I started the morning off with the best workout and I had an incredible smoothie today. I'm feeling so good here. Just feel so good waking up and seeing the ocean. The tide was so low last night so we went outside and walked along like the it was a sandbar or I don't even know what you'd call it but you could we got to we found all these little starfish and we there was like a bird out there that was I don't, we think maybe it was snacking on like minnows maybe. But it was so magical, I'm feeling so inspired. A lot of garbage the other day when I went jogging. So I thought I would go and pick some up and I didn't want to talk about it because I hate when people do things and then they have to tell people afterward. But it did actually make me feel a lot better and I know I'm an avid straw user and that's something that I'll have to work on in time. But it did feel really good at least, especially when garbage is so close to the ocean. It's like eventually it might end up there, maybe not right away, but over time, if the gar like the garbage was only like 20 feet away from the ocean. So it probably will directly go in there. I feel like the straw use in North America is probably not as directly impacted the ocean. Okay, anyway, so I went and picked up some garbage and I felt really good about it. I picked up like two huge garbage bags and then I came back and I did a really big swim and went paddle boarding. God, the turtle's been coming by for a little swim. Let's see if we can see him. He's like... That I have been actually getting dressed on this holiday. We're just on our way out for dinner. We're going to Hemingway's and I'm running super behind. It's marine and soil biodegradable straw and it looks and feels like plastic and I've been telling people this for the last year at restaurants. And they, like, they don't care about you. We're just heading out. We're gonna go see if we can find a fish market. I don't know if the fish markets 
are open Sundays. We're gonna go see and check out a coffee shop because I'm dying for coffee. <laughs> I brought a little wine glass today to put my sparkling water in. We're on our way to Wood Breezes for dinner tonight. My favorite thing there is this beach salad and they have this incredible brownie that I have to get. <laughs> Fishermen are coming by to sell us some fresh fish. Whatever, it was so much excitement and they had all these fresh lobsters and I love fresh lingostine. The only thing was is that they cut it up in front of you, which was like a little creepy, but they look so fresh and good. Okay, we're going to the marina to go look at boat rentals or see if there's like a boat we can charter. We were gonna rent this boat. Then I looked at the pictures of it, like my fiance had booked it and it just looked kind of like dweeby but there's like another boat i saw online that i might want to rent but whatever anyway we're gonna go just go to the marina anyway just to go take a boo at it and i put this dress on this dress is so cute and i never realized how cute it is for daytime there you go. i bought this and i usually wear this at night but it looks so cute looks so cute Okay, I'll show everyone in a minute. I'm just gonna finish putting on my mascara and then I wanna show it on the camera in like a big full length mirror so you can see. And I put it with like my little Chanel shoes. It looks so cute for daytime. And it is a little bit see-through, but I kind of feel like it's almost kind of hot when things are see-through, I don't know. Like I would prefer it not to be. See how it's double lined here and then it's not. I wish it was double lined all the way, but I think this dress is so cute. I would almost like i'm almost open to paying to get it lined like covered in mascara i brought this from home <laughs> i ordered these off amazon it came in a pack of three when i was packing to come to turks i thought you know what i'm just gonna bring it because we're here for the month and then it's like all together Normally when I go on a holiday, I usually just like throw some Q-tips in like a little bag or sometimes I have like the little individual Q-tips, but I thought I would just bring this since we're here for so long, it just kind of makes it feel more homey and then they're easily accessible and they get all weird from the bag. I'm so excited. My friend is coming tomorrow. I've been saving all of the funnest things for my trip for when he comes so that that way we can enjoy them together. And so we're gonna do like a boat rental this week and we're doing the horse rides. And apparently there's like an iguana island and sea turtle, like there's like a whole place with like all these sea turtles and this conch island or conch caves, sorry. my overdress <laughs> okay also i don't know if i was being trolled or not but someone had asked how to put on perfume i can't tell i really couldn't tell if that was a joke or not i mean the appropriate way that you put perfume on is like an old woman would tell you you do a spritz on your wrist and then a spritz on your neck um, that's not how I do it. And perfume has oils in it, so it can destroy your clothes. So if you're wearing something more expensive, you probably don't want to spray it all over, but I like to coat myself, okay? My friend once told me, and this stuck with me, you should have an overwhelming scent. Not overwhelming, but I just find perfume doesn't always last. And I just like to, I just find it's very alluring when someone walks by and you, you can smell them. And like, 
And also perfume's only good for a year. I don't know if people know that or not, but like this bottle's only good for a year once you start using it because perfume goes bad. So I think that if it goes bad, you should really use it up, right? Like if you're not coating, like the I see people on Instagram who have like 10 different perfume scents going on and it's like clearly half of them are rotten because there's there's no way you used that much perfume in a year because I like coat myself in perfume I think I and I also spray my bed sheets in it too I just like you know what it doesn't the the scent does not last that long it kind of dissipates but I just like to coat like everything okay and here is the dress so it is a little see-through it's like pose on these stairs See, isn't this so cute? And it this boat is like in disarray. No one's upkeeping it. It's so weird. It's like full of stuff. I imagine like the eccentric person that has a boat and like leaves it in a marina, either it's like an old couple or someone that just has so many assets that they like don't they don't have like the time or the energy to deal with this boat. Probably it's like an older person, but I just think of like what a cool life they must have lived. We're on our way to pick up my friend from the airport. I'm so excited. We drove by, we saw the Air Canada plane and down so the fun is going to begin okay we're on our way to coco bistro for dinner for the hostess oh yeah the menu i'm so excited i love this restaurant such a vibe i'm gonna order this pink french 75 cocktail i feel like it's always good to go french it's like pink and french i'm so tired reading menus i feel like I look at way too many words so what I like to do instead is I like to go to like Instagram pages and I just look at the pictures of the food and then you don't have to read any words from the menu because you can just see the picture so you know what you want. I'm just gonna like reapply the liner and I'm gonna take like some hot pictures outside with all the trees. 